What is Sunday Night Shooters? I'm your host, Derek Sean. I got with me, Ian Andrews, and we're making a drink that I'm going to make on the fly. Never made this before. Never even, never test, tested it. I'm just using some theory. Theory. All right. This is all based on theory, because it can't, how can you go wrong? I'm, I got these new products in. We did a review on Monday. Typical. And since the since they showed up, I saw the vanilla soft serve, and I'm like, you know what I like better than vanilla soft serve is the twist. Swirl. Because yeah. you get twist. a little bit of everything. Yes. Right? You get the it's chocolate. It's like uh, two-thirds Neapolitan. And right. like Meatloaf says, two out of three ain't bad. Right. And, and if it was a Neapolitan, it had like the... Did you really just quote Meatloaf? <laughs> I did. Mark it. <laughs> and and if, if, it had, if it had strawberries, it had chunks in it which doesn't work very good for soft serve no. so as a kid I, I used to like to like just see if I can blend them together perfectly like, yeah lick it so that it would like the oh, chocolate okay. yeah, would yeah. cover over the oh, vanilla oh you think we can do that with a shot oh, no really? they're mix yes they will they definitely the mix yeah. yeah um so I thought what a better way than you could pour that actually I guess you only have the measuring thing um and we'll do oh <laughs> <laughs> what do you think we should do? Two of these each? Like two ounces? Two ounces, Two and yeah. two? Because there'll be four. Kind of three of us. Yeah. Two ounces of chocolate, two ounces of vanilla. We're going to shake it with some ice to chill it up. Shake it up, baby. like having a nice crisp ice cream. Should we throw the ice in there first? Nope. Nope. <laughs> are those on the side yet? Yeah, what? you said you're gonna have them on by Sunday, right? What are we talking about? These? I'll have them on by Sunday. I, no, I have. Last Sunday. Those are cool shot glasses. The, the shot the Shooters. The episode hasn't come out yet. I have huh. time. Uh, they are not on the site. I, they are lined up to get photos along with a couple of tiki mugs I have. It's just been an extremely rough week. Um, yum, yum, yum. Oh. I have many things I have to post. I got some new glassware to post. Um, and it's just taking forever. <laughs> Why is it shaking your penis? Shake over your head, you won't actually hit yourself in the penis. Well, my arm is strong that way. <laughs> <laughs> Much practice. It's full on. Huge. It's full on. So, I don't know what you think it's going to taste like. I'm hoping it tastes just like Ooh, a... it's frothy like a milkshake, buddy. Yeah, yeah. It's I awesome. love milkshake buddies. No, that was a... That you know what... There's a comment there. You know what... <laughs> you know what this is missing? Those little plastic parachute guys. <laughs> Did you ever see? You ever go out for ice cream at the place that had like the little? No. You no. Know, there's one in the little. Uh, I know of not what you speak. They're like these little plastic army guys, and they had a parachute that was rubber band around them, and you used to you oh, throw. Yeah, okay. You roll the parachute, and you throw it up in the air, and you would parachute I down. I just didn't know what that had to do with ice cream places. Is all. It, okay, apparently it's only happened to me. But there was a place I went. There were happened. different ice creams that you get, and they put the parachute guy on top of the, the soft serve. Oh, that's cool. On top of the soft serve. Yeah, oh, and you just pull. Okay, this is the 80s. Guy on my ice cream. In the 80s, they were made in America. Um, Look at that. Cr oh, I like it. It's frothy. It is. So, I don't... I, I just get them, and they always had the little parachute guys. Thanks, Jen's going to like this. He, he'll even the set again. He does that every now and then. <laughs> he brings me my shot. Yeah. Because he's like that. I like yeah. to break Thank and you. When I, when, if I do it, it looks weird. I'm a fourth wall breaker. He broke the fourth I'm wall. I'm a fucking money maker. That's right. He's a wall breaker with a big ball. Heartbreaker and right. a... Something taker. Um, I don't. I don't have a good answer for you. Nope, me neither. Hmm. Shot taker. Shot taker. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Oh, boom. Oh, boom. Prost. Headshot. Hmm. Yeah. I think it works. It plays. Chocolate and vanilla. Mm. Yeah. Back and forth. Like and you it, took a big lick. It had the like foam on top, like the cream from fresh, yeah. uh, the fresh milk cream. <laughs> You're gonna say Fresh Prince of Bel Air for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why is foam related to that show? <laughs> Answer? It's not. Okay. It, it tastes like. It makes perfect sense. It, it tastes like uh, the soft serve when you lick straight up the middle. Mm. Which you always do, because what's the point of getting a twist if you don't mix them together? Right. Because then you have a, then you buy. Well, the reason is you get two or ice creams. Or hoodsy shot. All the hoodsy, hoodsy cups. Hoodsy yeah, cups. They could do that. Yeah. Well, that's good. I'm guessing you can almost do almost anything with Tippy Cow, and be happy with the results. Yeah, it's kind of hard to screw this up unless you add like you um, have to slow gin. Intentionally <laughs> do something stupid. Right. Um, I've, I've been, Don't do something stupid. Right. That's a get commercial. <laughs> yes, that's the one. Uh, the. The, I've, I've, working with cream-based stuff can be a challenge because of the mm. acidity. 
And yeah. the hardest, the, the, the one that works almost is if you use a slow gin, certain types of slow gin, they have acidity to them, so they get thick like yogurt. Um, but I, and I've been trying to get one to work, and sometimes they come out good, sometimes they come out awful. You don't want something that's cool. interesting to have to serve a drink with a spoon, huh? Ew. <laughs> Yeah, it says a blended, in it not being blended, <laughs> and not being a cement mixer, um, but you get the same the same deal from using a cement mixer. This, on the other hand, is nothing like a cement mixer, just tastes like pure awesome. It's got two ice creams in the bottle, and the only thing I could say is you can't make anything better than buying this from Wisconsin. Mm. From Wisconsin. And like it really is bottled yeah. uh, at the Midwest Custom Bottling in uh, I don't know if you could Pewaukee, do this Wisconsin. If you did this with um Pewaukee? Pewaukee. If you did this with like another rum cream and I think these are the rum shot guys too. So Are they? Yeah. That, well whenever I get an email from them, their address is at rumshot.com. Well that would make sense then, right. wouldn't it? Yeah, because they kinda right, they know what they're fits doing, in the same thing. Um I the the the, the trick is um what else could you do with them that does that that gets a little more complex? I don't really know. I, I know that you could try and make this with uh, maybe a, a Irish a cream. Bailey's or Cool Swan. Yeah, and yeah. I would use a Cool Swan because you get a little bit of that chocolate yeah. action, a little bit more vanilla for the chocolate. Maybe a chocolate liqueur. The problem is you're going to lose some of the cream base and it's going to be thinner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so that's what the draw is it. on these things. I think the cream base is a right. big draw with these flavors. With this, you may be able to use um, uh, what's the bottle of little. The chocolate cream we have. We have white chocolate liqueur. Godiva? Yeah. Godiva's got a cream base. So you could use a Godiva. Oh, maybe a Chambord. Um, you, you could put Chambord in Chambord here. And, go with that. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. And just to give it a hint. Yeah, you don't need much. But yet. then you're turning it more to a, a weird donut like thing. <laughs> weird donut. <laughs> Such a fucking donut. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> there's another name you could be called. When was the last time somebody, you had to insult somebody by calling me a donut? You know, my boss and his wife call people donuts all the time. Really? Yeah, they call their kids donuts. <laughs> You're such a donut. Okay. <laughs> Strange. Yeah. It's funny. Banana split. You need to do the vanilla ice cream. <sighs> vanilla ice cream. Banana, banana liqueur. Bananas. Banana liqueur. I think there's real bananas in there too, right? But what about strawberry? Strawberry, you just use tequila rosé. Ooh. It's already cream based. There you go. There's See? Your next banana split. Wow. These drinks are just coming up like out of the blue. And if you like, if you want a melted banana split... As a cocktail, um, look for the next Cool Swan, <coughs> cool Swan recipe book. Oh, nice. Because it has my invention <coughs> for, my, my theory was, what if you took a banana boat, if you take a banana boat, oh, yeah, that's my chocolate. Yeah, and you know, way. like, it takes a long time to eat a banana split because it's big. Hmm? That, oh, it you does? Know how, <laughs> is it supposed to? I don't know why. <laughs> Why I bother? I should have known. That I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> Does not compute. No. Normal people uh, take a yeah. while to okay. eat theirs. My goal was. I had a double whopper from Burger King while I was driving over here from the Burger King. Right it's there. right out there. <laughs> oh, well, I, I've done that. I did yeah. that on the way home. That's not too bad. I had a Big Mac yeah. on the way. Um, no. Where'd you get that from? Melrose or wherever it is down in Boston. Well, oh, I would hope you, you finish it by you way? get home. <laughs> <laughs> I finished it really quickly because I'm okay. driving. You, okay. You're eating a Big Mac while driving. It's, it's a good like story. That's the best story I've ever heard. Out out I'm like trying to eat it. You have to eat around because the bottom keeps falling off, so you have to keep eating it in a circle. You need a bigger mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you got a you pretty mouth. Open, <laughs> 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 open the pipe. <laughs> I totally lost my story. Anyway, <laughs> stupid donut. <laughs> it, it, it plays. <laughs> donut plays. Do Good questions? use. Well done. Eiffel Tower. Um, <laughs> somebody else can remind me what I was gonna say because it's obviously the banana split. Oh, banana, banana split. split. Irish cream. Right. So when when the banana boat starts to melt and then. For most people who can't eat it quickly, and you finish it, and then you go, and you drink. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, I wanted a cocktail that tastes like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just I even used slow pineapple down, chunks dude. and everything. Like it's, oh, yum. Yeah, fresh yellow kill. It's awesome. It sounds awesome. So you gotta look out for the Cool Swan recipe book. AreaAndDrinkers.com. Awesome, awesome drink for the glasses. And soon um, shot these glasses. These will be out there soon. These will be out there soon. They're just, sitting right next to me in the I big know. box. It's, I gotta get a photo of them for their site, and I gotta add them. In. I got this. <laughs> Yes, nothing like an Instagram photo because Amazon patented the white background of That's a right. picture. So I don't know what I'm going to do. We're going to owe blue, blue Amazon background. royalties for all the pictures on our website. Yeah. So he's got to create the photo for our, our, our product shot right now. It's going to be awesome. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Is that what you're saying? <laughs>
Wow, you caught on to that, huh? I'll yeah. stop trying to contribute. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're done. That's This is Sunday Night Shooters. That's Ian. <laughs> <laughs> We're signing out. No, uh, no. Uh, AaronAndrews.com, Patreon.com, slash CMC to fund us to make more of this crazy stupidity. And that's it. We're teaching you how to drink.